back to another fantastic episode of the podcast. Today we have a very special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself, sir. Jack Wood. How are you doing? How about yourself? Doing good, doing good. So can you tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got into uh, race car driving? Yeah, I started racing when I was uh, five, racing legends in California, and uh, did that for probably three or four years um and then from there took a step moved up to racing uh late models and and uh then tarka west and uh did that for a couple years till i was i guess 19 and then made the move out to north carolina um did arca elite for about six months with gms and then uh, took the step up to trucks about halfway through the season last year cool yeah i saw a couple of your races they they were very impressive, yeah, well, thank you. I, I must say. Thank you. So, when it comes down to driving uh, a, a race car, because I'm not super familiar with, you know, the dynamics of that, what all goes into, um, you know, getting it set up and getting it to where you're comfortable, where you think you can, you know, get to the, the front of the pack, so to speak? Yeah, so, I mean, for – for me as a driver, you know, I don't, I really don't do a whole lot as far as the car setup goes. You know, I really just, I give the best feedback I can when we show up to the track and throughout the week at meetings and, and whatnot. But for, for guys, it's all just stuff we do during the week and, uh, training, working out, um, watching race tape, all that kind of stuff. So. Very cool. So out of all the, uh, events that you've been in, do you have a favorite and, and do you have a favorite car or truck that you've driven over the years? Um, yeah, I think the, the race we had at Nashville last year was, was probably my favorite. Um, I think that's a fun race track just cause it's, it's the biggest concrete track that we have on the schedule. Um, and the, the concrete stuff just races a lot different than the asphalt does and the, the way the grip gets laid down and whatnot. So, um, you know, all the places we've been to there, all the, you know, the one time that we went there last year was, was probably the most fun I've had at a race. Um, and then I'm the, the more I'm doing it, I'm starting to really enjoy this road course racing as well. Very cool. So when you're driving, you know, as far as like getting set up to draft or passing, is there a, a, a way to do that? Uh, like technically, uh, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to, to pass guys. I think it's just, it's, it's different at every single racetrack we go to, right? Whether it's, you know, it's Daytona, it's, it's a lot different than passing someone at Daytona than it is passing someone at Sonoma, right? Um, so for a driver, there's a lot of different things that you have to, to learn at these different racetracks and different uh, skill sets and tools that you have to have, um, you know, to go, make a, to go make a successful pass at different places. Gotcha. Do you have a uh, driver that you looked up to at some point uh, that got you interested in racing? Um, so racing was, was kind of in my family for a long time. Uh, my, my grandpa raced a little bit, my, my dad raced and my cousin raced. So growing up, I was always around it. Um, I think, you know, a professional driver that I looked up to was probably, you know, Jimmy Johnson or Jeff Gordon, um, two guys that are both from California, like I am. And, uh, you know, two guys that found a lot of success in NASCAR and, uh, two guys that, you know, I kind of try to model myself after. Gotcha. So in your career, where do you, where do you see yourself going probably in the next five, 10 years, if you had your way? Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd like to go to the, you know, to the top, like most guys would, I think that are, you know, racing trucks are going to do right now. Um, you know, for me, it's just all about performance and, um, you know, selling sponsorship. So I have to do the most that I can away from the track and at the track to, to, you know, build the best brand and put together the best races that I can. And, uh, you know, if the opportunity comes for me to move up to the next level, that'd be great. Um, and if not, you know, I'm just at the same time, I'm also happy to be here. So. Gotcha. Um, other than driving, I know some people, you know, have, ha- uh, hobbies of like collecting or, you know, uh, doing other sports or o- owning different businesses. Do you have a hobby you do away from the track? Um, yeah, I, so I, I ski raced a lot when I was younger. Um, so, you know, during the winter, I like to go home back to California and, and ski quite a bit. Um, I like, I like music, so I play a little bit of guitar as well. Um, you know, that's really it for me. But a lot of my life, a lot of my life now is, is, you know, hundred percent focused on racing. Gotcha. So I'm always interested in, in seeing like when you watch, 
you know, uh, the the races that uh, that are now going on with the way that they've transitioned from, you know, the the cars and trucks of the uh, late '90s, early 2000s to where we are now. Um, what would you say the the biggest changes are, and and, and are they hard? You know, are, would you say they're harder to drive? Um, you know, I don't know if they're harder to drive. I think just the, the competition level has gone up a lot over the last, you know, t- 20 years, I would say. I think, you know, the, the good teams are better and the, the you know, not so good teams are better as well. So I just think the competition level's up. I think the drivers are getting better. I think teams are getting better. Um, and I think all that is just kind of the evolution of the sport. Um, the, you know, the longer we as a, as a sport do this, the better we're going to get. Okay. Um, is there a driver that you see either coming up or currently where you are that uh, that you kind of see, I guess, as a rival um, to to you that you kind of try to you know beat on the track? Um, not really. You know, I think um, I you know, I've been I'm pretty new to racing in a, a, a top three premier series in NASCAR, so. I don't really have a lot of rivals or, or people that, you know, I'm super focused on, on beating. Um, but, you know, I think for for all drivers and all motorsports, it's, it's your biggest competition is always your teammate, right? Because you know that you guys are probably in the, the closest, closest you know, uh, equipment as far as, like, the competitiveness of it goes. So, uh, you know, it's important for me and, you know, Grant, my teammate, to, to work together and just try to make our stuff better week in, week out. Um, but as far as rivalries go, yeah, I don't gotcha. Know that um, have you had any kind of uh, wrecks or accidents that were pretty significant, other than you know little minor things? Um, we had a big wreck at Daytona this year, and then a, another big wreck at, at Vegas. Um, but you know, luckily, I haven't you know had any injuries or anything so a lot of the a lot of the, the cars and trucks now are all so safe and the the stuff the drivers wear and the way they build these cars are so, yeah it's definitely safe, so. um so i i, I kind of got uh a question for you that i i haven't really asked many other drivers uh that i've talked to but if you had a mount rushmore of four to five drivers uh you know present or in the past uh, who would you think that would be on that Mount Rushmore? Um, probably Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt, and okay. Richard Petty, probably. So, if, um, yeah. Yeah. what did you think of uh, of the way that uh, uh, Dale Earnhardt was? You know, watching some of the old. Uh, tr- uh, racing that he did, you know, um, everybody thought he was kind of aggressive, but you know, I guess you kind of have to be in a way. Yeah, I mean, I think um, you know now more than ever, I think especially the truck series is super, super aggressive, right? And the way that these guys race is is super aggressive, and it's just a part of the sport. And um, you know, the way that our point system works and the way that the playoffs work it rewards winning so um you know i think you see more and more guys now more than ever you know doing whatever it takes to win and you know quite honestly it's great to finish second it's a good points day but um there's just such a such a priority on winning so i think guys um really push themselves and and you know eventually push other guys out so, of the way to get wins. um kind of in closing what do you what do you, uh races do you have coming up in the next couple of weeks Yeah, so we race, um, we have Knoxville this week, Knoxville, Iowa, which is the second and last dirt race of the year for the truck series. So we go to Knoxville, Iowa this weekend. Uh, we go to Nashville the week after that. Um, and then we have about a two-week break, and then we go to uh, Very go cool. To well, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to talk with me. Um, I appreciate it a lot, and uh, I yeah, hope you no do problem. well in the next couple of races. Yes, sir. Have a great night. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate right. it.